We often hear about Jesus' divine nature, his unconditional love, his sacrifice for our sins, his ability to perform miracles of healing. But what do we know about his human roots? In the New Testament, Matthew chapter 1 and Luke chapter 3 give us the genealogy of his earthly family and clues to Jesus' character. If we compare the genealogies, though, it seems like they conflict. Why would Matthew and Luke include two different genealogies? Why include genealogies at all? To understand why, we need to take a look at the individual context of Matthew and Luke. Matthew's audience was Jewish. They were familiar with all the Old Testament stories, their heritage. The line of Joseph, Jesus' earthly father figure, is full of royalty and important patriarchs and matriarchs of Israel. By starting with Abraham and ending with Jesus, Matthew proves Jesus' right to rule from David's throne, the Jewish throne. Luke's audience was non-Jewish. They would be concerned with the lineage of their monarch on a larger scale. Luke traces Jesus' line back to Adam and then to God himself. This satisfied both the bloodline and the idea of the right to rule via divine sonship. God, through the gospel writers, offered to prove himself within the systems they could understand. He wants to convince, not coerce, so he offers grounds for belief. Of course, neither genealogy lists every branch of the family. So why not skip the unsavory? Why include people with bad reputations like Manasseh, one of the worst kings of Israel, or Rahab, a foreigner and a prostitute? Jesus was born into a family filled with flawed humanity who wrestled with unity with God's will. Because of the cross, humanity can finally reunite with God through Jesus. He was born humbly, and he is our king. Though his human family was filled with sin, he broke the cycle and lived a perfect life. He became a part of our family so we can become a part of his. See what kind of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God.